Oh yeah, Mr. Puppy. What time is it? Huh? <laughs> oh, it's time for snow dumping. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> right, come on. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely that time again. As you can tell, he's loving it. What's going on? Yeah, just uh, figured uh, we'd share a nice little uh, snow dog runner intro uh, while we about to talk about our second uh, part to the uh, mountain adventure that uh, Havoc and I decided to uh, get a chance to enjoy. And we went up there for the uh, craft fair. Uh, we went up there to go and uh, enjoy that. And at the same time, since we were up there, we just decided to uh, you know stretch our boundaries and go seek elsewhere and even though we didn't get to stay for long up there uh due to a couple of situations that come up i mean everybody's got their own stories of uh things that they gotta attend to uh we did share a little bit of this that and the other while we were up there mainly the views like i'm here trying to attempt to do with you so yeah this uh nice little uh weather decided to uh you know come up on us last night and uh as you can tell right now she's still pouring and uh, she's doing a good job of it. And uh, Havoc was definitely ready to get out of the house today and uh, enjoy a little bit of this. So that's what we're doing. We've been having to deal with a few other things too with this winter coming in as well uh, at this moment. Uh, we've been having some uh, mechanical issues or maintenance issues that we've been having to address and take care of. Uh, one of our vehicles are in the shop getting new tires. Uh, my air shocks are not working right now. Had to fix a spark plug. Uh, misfire situation uh you know just a, a few things that uh tend to uh come up on you you know with the weather change you know the vehicles tend to let you know hey it's time to prep us for winter one way or another so uh you know she starts squeaking and creaking here and there and uh that's okay so besides havoc uh, enjoying this nice little snow runner here you know where we go from here so stick around and enjoy the show many times just because I just love the view from this point right here. It's just really, it's really eye-catching at least to me. And I don't mind sharing it as well. Check that out.
All right, I think we found a spot. Yep. Come on. Go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're kind of off the regular beaten path now. And uh, I'm okay with that because uh, most of the campgrounds right now are uh, definitely uh, occupied. And uh, we're basically going to leave it at that at this moment. But uh, ended up finding one of these logger trails over to the uh, other side across the street from most of the campsites. And this over here gives havoc and I a little bit more of a open freedom which we're only here for you know just a few hours we ain't spending the night up here unfortunately tonight uh, but you know hey that still is to come we just uh, had to come up here anyway and uh, checked out the craft fair and on top of that I had to set out a promise that I uh, you know did for family whenever I went to go and uh back down in South Carolina uh, and uh, do something for my uh, older sister that just passed away earlier this year and uh, I was able to go ahead and fulfill that promise which I did so yeah um, Havoc and I are blessed to have a vehicle that can definitely uh, take us pretty much most of the places that I, I want to go and I must say I'm definitely appreciative of the tires that uh we put on the brick this year. Uh, it's definitely an upgrade of what we had prior to, and definitely when these go, we'll be upgrading again. And uh, yeah. So uh, right now, Havoc and I are just gonna do our own little bit of a trailblazing here and not go too far. Once again, we are not on a regular campsite. And there are things that uh, live naturally out here in these woods that can look at havoc as a threat or as food or even me as well. So we definitely are staying protected and we're not trying to embark on anybody else's uh, backyard any more than just uh, to do a light exploration. Uh, we ain't trying to, you know, create any type of a, a snag of any type and uh, have to uh, resort to further matters that, you know, Havoc and I secure ourselves with. Let's just leave it at that. And what I mean by that is having that mountain lion hiss at us at a close park uh, just a couple of months ago was enough for, uh, for both of us not to... Uh, definitely scare us out of here that's for sure uh, but uh, you know definitely make sure that we uh, walk around with the proper attire that we need uh, and definitely keep our awareness and look for proper tracks on anything that is going to be in these areas as you can tell right here somebody else ended up doing the same thing that I did but uh going the extra step of making themselves a nice little campsite and properly uh, wrapping the fire the way they needed to and enjoyed this little area out here. So that's a plus. So, hey. And judging by the looks, uh, mostly from what I'm seeing, not too much as far as uh, man-made trash has been left behind. Although, now that I say that, you can... Uh, a couple of metal bars I'm gonna say probably from a broken camp chair has been uh, left behind right there but other than that not too much more which it's it's definitely a blessing there you know I'm not trying to rag too much but I mean yeah. it's stuff like this that really I guess irked me a little bit more just Anywhere and everywhere, you know, unfortunately, man decides to leave their footprint in one way or another. And, uh, but hey, we do our part when we can, and uh, we ain't got no problem in uh, properly uh, getting it out of here and disposing it where we need to, you know. Uh, just uh, 
end up taking a moment here and there to uh, look at it as an extra physical fitness uh, or whatever. Next time we'll just make sure we carry a bag with us and uh, you know pick up as we go. Heck, why not? Like I said, it's not just his paws that have to walk on this ground. There's others that actually live out here on top of that that uh, don't need that stuff laying around as well, you know? Tell you the truth, I'm uh, glad we ended up picking this area over here uh, because the uh, wind has picked up quite a bit, which is not uncommon for living here in Wyoming, I'll tell you that. But having these trees to uh, break it down and not hit us as hard as it was over at the uh, previous campground because uh, it was pretty pretty rough and uh, loud. And if you take a moment and hear the trees talking, you can hear what I'm talking about. Man, I really did not know how rickety this little tripod was when I bought it. But uh, thankfully I didn't spend an arm and leg on it. Yeah. Yeah. See how long she lasts. I don't even know if you can hear me with, uh, with uh, this new setup or not, uh, especially uh, with the wind being muffled, we'll see, right? Hello, hello, testing, one, two. All right. How about that? I started recording. <laughs> I don't get it. But hey, all right, well. We got a recording now. I'm not sure what I had to do to get her to start, but hey, we're learning this uh, equipment as we go along, right? And uh, day two, okay. Part two is doing it again. I'm all right with that. Hey, all right, Mr. Puppy. Yeah, good habit. He's just happy to be out here, just enjoying the elements. He's been uh, eyeballing a squirrel or two here. Right now, uh, we're making sure that our our uh, dome lights are turning off with the uh, doors open and uh, right now that deals with uh, the dome override button right there and uh, it's been a little tricky here you know due to the fact that this truck is what 23 24 years old almost uh, depending on when it was actually manufactured uh, so all right it actually worked I've been having issues here and there I ended up having a WD-40 uh, earlier a couple months ago uh, because it wasn't working at all. Thankfully, uh, that fixed that situation right now. How about that? That's right. When nature calls on you personally, you listen. And you know what? We're okay with that. To uh, tell you the truth, I'm kind of curious about another spot, uh, you know, that's been on my mind. Um, looking to uh, maybe go and explore and check out and see what it looks like at this moment. So uh, we're gonna head that direction onto the other mountaintop and uh, see what we see. And uh, yeah, going through a uh, little kitchen we got there and trying to look in our pantry. Uh, some of this stuff has been in there for quite a while. This is some old pistachios. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and let the squirrels have them. Because, yeah, they kind of slightly stale. Uh, but uh, not stale enough for them to want to go ahead and probably... Uh, put them up for the winter must you know themselves if uh havoc don't decide to eat them which i don't think he's going to i think we're at least going to go ahead and enjoy these because i don't know how much more uh stale you can go by uh, besides being freeze-dried themselves you know 
But yeah, we're gonna definitely have to go through our kitchen there and pantry and, and see what all we got in it that's actually uh, still good because I see a bag of crackers there that haven't been opened yet, but you know, it doesn't mean they can't get oxidized and stale out themselves. So we're gonna have to see what's all in there. You done beat me around the corner. Look at that. You're just enjoying all this. Yes, you are going Rana Rana. Definitely trying to mark everywhere he can just to let them know, hey, this is my turf. <laughs> We ain't got no problem with that, you know. Them smelling and, you know, dropping a scent here and there is, uh, you know, the animal canine way of uh, basically letting them, uh, you know, get a chance to see their social media as well. That's basically their profile pic. Uh, all in a, a simple scent they drop or tend to uh, gain. Yep, that's just what they do, and that's okay. And that's where we're at on that. We'll catch you on the next flip flop. Once we get a little bit more ice here in these parking lots, I'm gonna have to come out here and uh, have a little fun here and there. You know what I'm saying? Good boy, come on, up. Oh yeah, good snow doggy. You good? Yeah? This is Snow Puppy. Uh huh. Definitely his favorite season, I'd have to say. And with all this, can you blame him? Nah. Ha, 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 ha.